If I only had one tool, one strategy at my disposal to use, I would definitely use the sound therapy family of interventions that we have in integrated listening systems. Let's start with the simplest first. If you see someone early on and they are rather symptomatic, one of the gentlest things you can do to introduce your therapy is the dream pad. But even later, maybe you're seeing them a year after their head injury, the dream pad is very effective, particularly when they have sleep disturbance. We don't have to emphasize the, how important sleep is to any kind of brain recovery or physical recovery. When you have a client who has sound sensitivity, irritability with loud noises, think of the safe and sound protocol. It's very, very helpful. And it goes beyond just helping sound sensitivity. It has a great deal to do, if you've studied Dr. Porges' work, with state regulation. This has to do with regulating your autonomic nervous system from being hypervigilant, hyper alert, um, tense or anxious, waiting for the shoe to fall. Very, very helpful in state regulation, calming the, balancing the autonomic nervous system and bringing a sense of calm to the entire system, which of course improves social engagement, concentration, all your physical activities. So be sure to keep the safe and sound protocol in mind when working with all of your clients who have difficulties with organizing their emotional state. And as you begin to work more specifically on cognitive function, attention, coordination, balance, we have a whole family of focus programs that are at your disposal. If someone's having significant balance and coordination problems when you see them, by all means consider using the sensory motor program first. But you don't usually need, for most people, a whole 20, 30, or 40, 50 session program. Think of something around 10 to 20 sessions for most people who did not have any significant balance or coordination problems before their concussion. Then you have attention concentration, reading and auditory processing. These also have a significant amount of the organization phase. So if someone has mild coordination, balance difficulties, you could skip the sensory motor program and move right into one of those programs. The optimal performance program, I didn't use quite as much and isn't used quite as much for head injury, but if you have someone who's recovered well, but they feel they haven't got all of their creativity back, their enthusiasm, their lightheartedness, their emotional mental energy, definitely consider tacking the optimal performance program on after you reach this stage of improvement. For those of you who are, who are trained and experienced in using the PRO program, I've written out some suggestions for your protocol to use an individualized program for those patients if you have the option of using the PRO protocol or the PRO system. So these are the programs at your disposal. Be sure to remember to always, always include movement with regardless of whatever program you're doing. Focus programs, PRO, because the movement in addition to the sound intervention, they're more powerful than either one alone. So be sure to include that always in your therapy.